In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a lovable open source, which is a great way to build full stack apps very quickly compared to traditional ways. It allows you to take existing websites, select the style as well as preferences in terms of how you want the site to look. You can plug in a URL. It will capture the content of the website and then you can redesign the site however you want while your dependencies are set up. To begin with, I will first show you the GitHub repository where we will find all the information we need. Installation is very simple, but first we will discuss some technical aspects. As we already know, Lovable uses E2B Sandboxed. E2B is a cloud-based sandbox platform that eliminates the complexity of traditional server management by providing instant, isolated environments where developers can execute code and interact with file systems. Instead of dealing with the headaches of setting up AWS EC2 instances, configuring security groups, managing scaling, or worrying about server maintenance, E2B gives you a ready-to-use computational environment in seconds. Think of it as a virtual computer in the cloud that you can spin up on demand, you get full file system access to read, write, and execute code, but without any of the infrastructure overhead. It also uses Firecrawl, which is a powerful web scraping and crawling API that transforms any website into clean, structured data that's perfect for AI applications. Unlike traditional web scrapers that often break when websites change or struggle with JavaScript-heavy sites, Firecrawl handles all the complexity of modern web scraping. It can navigate through dynamic content, bypass anti-bot measures, extract clean markdown or structured JSON data, and even crawl entire websites systematically. This makes it ideal for feeding web content into AI models, building knowledge bases, or creating datasets from web sources without having to worry about the technical challenges of web scraping, rate limiting, or dealing with different website structures. If you are concerned about APIs, you can place the APIs you want in the .nf.local file. If you want to try this for free, you can use the KimiK2 model, in which the file tells you to go to console.grok.com, which is a platform that provides ultra-fast AI inference through their specialized hardware called Language Processing Units LPUs. Grok offers free tier access to various open source language models like Llama, Mixtral, and Gemma, delivering incredibly fast response times that are often 5-10x faster than traditional GPU-based inference. I'm going to show how to install this in seconds. First, head to the repository, which you will have the link in the comments, and head to the installation part and clone the repository in the folder or place that you want. Wait a little bit and once it's cloned, head to the folder writing CD open lovable and once you are inside, install the dependencies by writing npm install and then you can start the server by writing npm run dev and the server is going to initialize in the port 3000. So you just have to click it with control and it opens automatically on the browser. If you forgot about configuring your APIs, just go to file that says .env.example, you can rename it .local and open with cursor or the IDE that you prefer and put your keys there. Now that you know how to install it properly, we are going to see some demos. So the first thing that you are going to do is put a URL of a site that you want to clone so it gets context and you can start building on it. The results are going to depend on the model, of course, so you have to consider that as well. So while we wait a few moments, we can notice that you have the option to see the code and the preview. Your site preview is going to be inside a sandbox as you may not buy now. Depending on the model, it will generate better or worse results. The code will be generated faster or slower. But one thing they all have in common is that it creates the appropriate dependencies for the project in an instant, which is great. I really like Next.js because of the way it displays and explains errors, which saves you time when fixing them. Well, as we can see, the results are very good. If you're wondering why it looks this way, it's because we chose the neo-brutalist style at the beginning and it shows us everything very comprehensively, which is quite good. Our job will be to add a database to our project. For the backend server, just make a cluster on MongoDB and can have real-time database where you have the ability to see everything that's going down. You can manage your analytics. You have an Atlas search, so it's easy for you to work with the data that has been accessed and indexed through MongoDB itself. 
What's also nice is that since we have set up the MongoDB MCP, we can reference our database where we can start chatting within the AI coding agent, and it's able to make references to our world of AI database that we have created completely for free. If you don't know how to set up your backend with MongoDB, is not complicated, but might take a little time if it is your first time, I have a video on my channel explaining to make a full stack app and managing to deploying it 100% free. So later, if you already have a finishing product, you can pay subscriptions to expand the server in MongoDB and buy a domain for your website like any other company out there. You can use Vercel to then deploy your AI app that we've just created while having it connected to our backend system. Vercel is a cloud platform specifically designed for front-end developers that makes deploying web applications incredibly simple and fast. It specializes in hosting static sites, React apps, Next.js applications, and other modern web frameworks with zero configuration deployment and sales. You simply connect your GitHub repository and Vercel automatically builds and deploys your app with every push. Thanks to these amazing tools, we are able to build such amazing apps. So I highly recommend that you try out this tech stack, which will help you build full stack apps quite easily. And obviously, if it's not the real deal, it's going to help you at least prototype your app, which is going to be a great step forward. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. If you like this video and want more videos like this, subscribe and leave a like or go to the comments section and comment something.